Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for play. Play. Thank you. Many guys as tall as Varif move as well as he does. Fifty. Many. No. He would be right up there for me. He's one of the best movers for a guy. You know, guys what, six foot four and taller. I think Daniel Medvedev moves oh. exceptionally well. That's or someone a good call. tall as well. Yeah. Started on the clay in Madrid, but altitude there, conditions quite quick, Mary. Sverry wasn't able to fashion a single break point in that match. You wouldn't expect it really when the scoreline is one and two. Interesting play there with a certain volley, and I think already. Just sending a message. If you're going to stand that far back, I'm going to look to S and V and put some pressure on those returns. Yeah, we saw his uh, his left leg taped in his last round match. It sure didn't seem to affect his movement. Drop shot he loves a lot. Yeah, this was a hell of a get from Zverev. Showing us that even early on he is full of running. And he's gonna need to be. game hold for Alcaraz, but Zverev has also shown us that he can dazzle too. It's 
more attractive. It is. You know, he's such a big guy, he's so powerful. You don't want to see him leg out his matches. to ask Alcaraz too many times to go big or go Love home. 15. I mean, make sure you got a soft place for your jaw to land when you watch that. It's not only one of the biggest serves, Mary, but it's also one of the most consistently big. You'll see his first serve percentage can often be in the 70s, sometimes touching on the 80 percentile in matches and sets. Third, take 15. Thing was 134 and he spat it right back at Zverev. His parents in the second row. Yeah, Carlos and Virginia. Looks like Jaime's had a haircut. <laughs> Recently. Yeah. He's lost three matches, you can see. Wow, look at that difference. That is some serious time that he's put in. And I was just having a look back, Roland Garros, actually in 2018 when he played all those five setters, there were a lot of matches that were three and a half hours and longer. And I'm talking about three in a row because I think that's the important distinction to make here. a 19 US Open there were four long ones in a row that he had to play 2020 here there were three that we know of of course that's when he got to the finals right here the epic match in the finals against Dominic team that went the distance and this year again Mary has been no exception so he is kind of used to playing these long matches Remember, there was a time, Robbie, some years ago now, where he was always losing the five set matches, and it was on him. You know, like, why can't you win? And then he started winning them and said, See, I can win them. To which we, we said, Well, you don't want to keep winning five set matches. <laughs> you want to win three setters. Yep. You want to win four setters. Don't spend yourself before you get to the, the back end of these majors. I 
do wonder how much so that had to do with the fact that he is a diabetic, type one diabetic. And, and I'd heard stories about him in the juniors running around with his little tag. Yeah. Um, and I actually never mentioned it on air because I wasn't 100% sure. And I always wondered in the back of, the, of my mind if that was something that, that plagued him in those long matches or not. And he's, of course, since come out about being a top one diabetic. You'll see him on every change of events. When he sits down, he looks into his bag and yeah. gets monitored on his phone. That's his dad, his lifetime coach. Sometimes you see him actually treat himself on the changeover, so poke himself, yeah. When I first came across Sasha, he couldn't have been more than seven or eight. As we have a look at Alcaraz's mom and dad, you don't see his mum there, but it was actually his mum who was feeding him a lot of balls, Irina. She was the one in the early days when Dad was traveling with older brother, Misha. And he was out there, seven or eight, hitting balls a couple of hours a day. I couldn't believe it. Yes. And that was at the Ollenhorster Hockey Club. That used to be the off-site venue at the Hamburg tournament. And, of course, field hockey was his other love. And it was at the age of 14 that he basically chose tennis over field hockey. You're talking about Zverev. Zverev, yeah. Misha, his older brother, by 10 years, which is why Sasha Zverev has been around this game so long. <laughs> I see him tagging along his, his little brother. Yep. It's a big brother. Stepping way back for this second serve. He wants to give it a ride. I like the intent, though. Advantage Alcaraz. Both already putting pressure on each other's serve. Gotta nurture those drinks. Don't want to be spilling one drop. 22 bucks a pop. Especially not on someone else. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please. The players are ready and are waiting. Thank you. It's the quad squad. He's got four of those bad boys, well balanced. Love of team. Taken on the covers there. Easy catch for the ball crew member. Fifteen all. Roger used to ping it around, didn't he? Roger, if you weren't on your game, if you're part of the ball crew, I'll tell you what, you'll get one on the head or in the midriff. 
and Roger was playing. serve percentage right on about 70 percent so the consistency of it i think is going to be hugely important tonight for him if we can get lots of free points and then get a crack at alcaraz's serve a couple of times i said he's going to be in business and that's a side we must keep an eye Two on years old. the forehand Present. of alcaraz because as good of a shot as it is mary can definitely leak on four stairs. Sounds like one Carlos Ferrero instructing Carlos Alcaraz. A reminder, you can catch up on everything that's happened at usopen.org, all of those uh, social media platforms. We'll let you know just what has happened today, how Medvedev beat Rublev, why Madison Keys has made her way into Thank another you. semi. What will happen tomorrow? Coco Golf has the first night match here tomorrow against Muhova. And it's Madison Keys against Sabalenka. 15 love. See if it holds up through the night. Probably a good idea for Alcaraz to try to take out the legs of Zvera. Oh. After all the tennis he's already played to get on this court tonight. because if he takes it early, he makes you run. He hits it hard, he makes you run. He can spread the court so well with angles and drop shots, he makes you run. You see where I'm going with this? I, I, there's a pattern, <laughs> yes. In other words, if you want to beat Carlos Alcaraz, yeah. you better be ready to run.
sneaks in. Beautiful. Um, you have some of the most arcane knowledge of any tennis announcer I've ever sat next to. No, it's a lovely podcast right. where, where they speak to the family, uh, Kevin, about it. He's the son now. He runs Tournament Grip. It's brilliant. The Shammy family. <laughs> I love how he, he throws his racket in the air for acknowledgement. Yes, that was great. Two aces for Zara. And he's pumping him in in the 130s on a regular basis. Fifteen thirty. Yeah, when well, you've got so many options at your disposal, choosing the right ones at the right time is a very important skill to have. Well, most players have a lot of feel of their backhand drop shot. Generally, the best drop shot they play. For him, it's the forehand side that is usually so effective. Not on that occasion. You're saying just because his opponents are staying so far back? Yeah, looking for the heat from his forehand? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of it. So it's a beautiful combination. So yeah. his forehand drop shot doesn't even have to be as good as his backhand yeah. drop shot. Serving big and he's serving at 76%. Three games all for set. Alcaraz much lower so far. He's held serve at 37%. Thank you. going over. There's a fair bit of space between the ball and the lead cord there. Trouble. Out. Love 30. Sometimes that's where I think he needs to be a bit more conservative with the forehand. Just respect the quality of the return. 
Just a heavy ball, keep it in play, not look to dominate. It's so much in his DNA. Fifteen thirty. He had a pretty big foin, didn't he? On Carlos Ferreira, French Open champion. Finalist here, of course. Came second to Andy Roddick. That's a good eye. That is a good eye. Somebody who liked to come to the net like you did. There's nothing <laughs> more tell. annoying than when you're playing against somebody who can judge the ball to within an inch of the line. That's so right. That, especially with all the work on the ball these days. Yeah. And you think, oh, they're going to volley it, and I'm going to still be in the rally, and then they let it go just out. So annoying. When he was down low 30, he's popped in three first serves. His mum often likes just to walk around the grounds, walk around the stadium when he's playing. We don't always see her in the booth. It's my marina. I see her in the box there tonight. Serve and volley. I love the way he attacks the volley. He doesn't wait for the ball to come to him. He is moving through that. Carlos's parents, mum and dad. His dad's a tennis coach, coached him up until the age of 14. His grandfather was a tennis guy too. Good on him. Love the way he just floats onto the volley. We won't see him up there as much as Algaraz yes. tonight? Probably not, but we should. Because he's got great hands. Great hands. You saw it right there. Carlos giving us his own replay. Yeah. Feeling the weight of shot from Zvera, it seems. Point of the match comes off a spectacular return. Advantage Zverev. He has wrote that. Adorned with all kinds of dip. Like he didn't even get close to the net. Coming all up right. To be reaching forward for that volley. But I started the clock when you were there. I started the clock when you were there. 
we're already discussing the 25 second serving clock. automatic as soon as the ball is dead yeah but then give them 30 seconds if, if it's an issue okay gobbled up that shot there of another right. chance to break uh, it's really it's interesting to watch Zver return because he'll stand back further on a second serve than a first serve so often because he really wants to give uh, the ball right. You would think most players back in the old days, we'd step in on somebody's second serve. Now so many of these guys step back. That's where he goes. <laughs> He's going back. And it works for him. The only problem is if you stay that far back, once you've gotten the return. Yes. Right? You gotta take you gotta come manage the court. Absolutely. Something that Medvedev does so well. Exactly. Had his looks, hasn't he, Robin? Yeah, right there, there, especially. There's only one place that four has got to go. Uh, it's down the line. Keep the ball on the same side of the court as yourself. Come in. Sasha's girlfriend, Sofia Tomella. It's a longer walk to to your towels if you're on ash. And that eats up precious seconds. Third ace from Zverev. At the moment in the opening seven games is the finishing touches for El Correa. They haven't quite been there. Uh, again, uh, of the five times they've played, it's Zverev who's got the advantage. It's very hot. I'm not saying he's not fit enough, El he's He's too sweaty. He, he, wants to, he wants to make sure his hands are dry enough for the next point. And he, he, looks, a little, he looks a little jumpy, doesn't he? For him to be 
you know, talking to the chair a couple of times already. Yep. Chattering to his box already. I mean, he knows this is this is a true test. Dad's having a chuckle with the instructions being given to his son by JCF. Turn positions are just so different. God, this guy's hugging the baseline as much as he can. Fair to Is that Alcaraz's first chance to break? Big second serve. Alcaraz very plays by five games for three. Expecting first set to return to come back quickly. 16 miles an hour. Return with interest. You've got to play the big points well in this sport. That's exactly what's happened in the set. So we have two looks at break points. Not able to convert. Alcaraz, one of one. the space to put the ball in precisely the right spot well that is another skill altogether you're hoping it's going to drift wide if you're the guy chasing it Oh, 
Fehler. Set points for the Spaniard. He's only serving in the 50s. He's got six more games to three. errors than winners. It's just what you were saying. This underscores your point, Robbie. He won the he won the important moments of the opening set. We'll talk about that. I give him a 10 for winning the set, but the quality? Yep. 60? Six set. Oh, 6.5? Is that where you put it? Yeah, I was around a 6.8. So oh, geez, we're in the same ball, ballpark figure. Just uh, 15. I was you're going to be dishing out eights and eights and a half. No, no, no. Okay. One shot, Mary. Everyone knows the rules. First double fault of the match for Zverev. It's a shot that became a real problem for him a couple of years ago. In fact, it was against a, a Spaniard that had first started to occur. David Ferrer, memory serves. And it was never an issue before that. 40, 30. It's the first match where he started to serve a lot of double faults. And I want to say that was 2019. Sampras was 19 when he won this, back in 1990. Yeah. Alcaraz is 19-2. 15 love. that forehand and in fact two-thirds of the way through the opening set his average forehand speed was quite a bit bigger than Alcaraz's so it was averaging around 84 the Spaniard 78 miles an hour
30, 15. Again, it takes the ball so early on the second passing shot here. You've got no time to get settled. Before you know it, it's by you. Goes long. Fifteen love. He usually smiles more. He's, you know what I mean. He usually yeah. he brings a crowd in because he he'll flash his his teeth so much. There hasn't been much of that today. Oh. Good reason he's taking this very, very seriously. Fifteen. Oh. Zverev of a good serve. 15, and 15. stretch out to get it. Met it beautifully. It's his big brother, Alvaro. Physical trainer. Agent just in the front row there. He's the guy who has to... Fend off people who want him. Yeah. 
And there's a lot. <laughs> Another well placed serve, and that one worked for Zvero. Fertile. So that's basically the agent's job if you're Carlos Alcaraz. You, you deflect suitors. Yeah, and obviously decide which ones you are going to align yourself with. Yes. And it's a, it's a balancing act, right? You don't want to be too greedy so that too much of his time gets taken up with sponsor requirements. Is that why his footwork is so good? <laughs> Every bit of instruction finishes with vamos. Come on. He's one for one on break points. going to relax more and that means we're going to see more dazzle. He's up a set. He's up a break. was very of this evening. The fact that he's not making any inroads, very little, into the Alcaraz second serve. I mean, this set alone, Alcaraz has set three second serves. He's won all three. He's sitting at 65% for the match. Second serve points one. behind a second delivery. Stark contrast in the last two points. The one before was a freebie. That was much better. Let's see how much Zverev is struggling behind his second serve. If you 
too many misses from Zverev coming in the net. Got to get it past that first obstacle, take the net out of play. If you miss, miss long. Stare, a clear. Advantage, Alcaraz. He's done well to dig that out. No panic here on that volley. Just pushing it out wide with his presence. Get out, get out, he's saying. to the chair on her about. You've got to give me time to towel off. Alcaraz wins by three games to one. Another reminder Second set. Go to usopen.org for all your org needs. Kind of wish, Robbie, that Zverev would up the energy when he wins a point, or when he, even when he misses a point. You know, just just get this joint going a little bit. too oh. fatigued for that. You know, maybe he needs every ounce of energy to fight off Alcaraz. But I just think it would change the tenor of this of this match. I mean, the fans are staying pretty quiet through all this. Let's it's a real engagement. Second service. I also think that's testimony to the quality of tennis that we're seeing. It. They haven't lit it up no either. Question. Lots no of unforced question. errors. But the fact is, it's 6-3-3-1. Zarev's got to make a move. I mean, look, I, I, he kind of misses and sulks. And love 15. Sulks. Oh. You know what I mean? Push back. Yep. Squawk a little. <laughs> that was so much, that was so much a part of Alcaraz's match against Dan Evans, he was, he so let the fans in. He showed him how hard he was working to, to beat Alcaraz. 
it was a joy to see that fight and to hear that fight and that he showed that fight. 15. Yeah, I think both him and Sinner, from about the beginning stages of that fourth set, there, there was very little reaction from both of them. I think they were just conserving yes. every ounce of energy and that war of attrition that they had, four hours and 41 minutes of it. But maybe if he opened up a little bit, it would give him energy. Yes. We've certainly seen that. These are the types of backhands that we're used to seeing from Zverev. Power angle. Big serves as tightly as Alcaraz. Yep, not many. Novak springs to mind. They can neutralize a rally with the return of a first serve. That's how good they are. It's fair to say Djokovic is in a different category to everyone else in that department. There's in total are 19 for Alcaraz, but 13 of them have come from 14, that forehand side. 13. And according to my stats, just the one forehand winner. So that's the side we, we highlighted at the start of the match. Yeah, that's that what can, you were talking about. It can cost him. Yes, he's made some, some good forcing errors with that shot. We mustn't forget those. Two second set. Fifteen love. Improved in the second set. It's up to almost 60. One stage it was in the mid 30s. And set number one. Out. 
Kemal Alcaraz. Alcaraz leads by four games to two, second set. Not always easy when you break early on in a set. Just to keep your nose out in front because your opponent knows he's going to get a couple of chances of breaking you. Because if you break at the tail end of a set, generally it might only be one or two service holds, and it's a lot easier to to compute in your mind. It's not too much work to be done. Fifteen love. delicious I think it's one of his greatest attributes I remember James Blake used to do that so well when he was playing but from juice court he would take that second serve on his back end just tee off down the middle and come in and used to intimidate opponents now Alcaraz can do it off both the juice and the ad court and it's a great way of creating that instant pressure on your opponent what about when Roger Federer did that for about a year right the Sabre yep Yeah, and that Sabre started in the American Summer in Cincinnati, 15, didn't it? The first 20. time he did it, I remember. What did it stand for? Sneak attack by Roger. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a shot like that where it's not about the raw pace it's, it's really about spin control here you're almost halfway up the court so if you want to hit it accurately with spin you're going to be in business you don't have to worry about hitting the cover off the ball I just love the fact that he's coming in as much as he does. And his opening couple of matches, I think we averaged it out at 14 times a set. biggest hand of the night. Well, this is beautiful beyond compare. The combination of Beautiful's shots. How did he dig this one out? The vision. The feel. It was low and tailing away from him. And he squirted it down the line. Weary looking Zverev there. Of course, slow motion makes everyone look a little sleepy. Oh. oh boy. 
just tired looking at that. I mean, if he gets busted here, I can't imagine him winning this match. in the second. So one thirty, his thirties. Alex Karicha, so he caught some. Oh. He's up with it, here with us, doing some commentary. Very cool fellow, good player. La 15. Fifteen all. He's not even taking much time between points now. That's never a good sign. He's had a double fault, a miss into the net just there. Thirteen. This is where Juan Carlos Ferrero wants his young charge to be a wall. And Prutz is very, he's got no pathway back into this match.
views. Mary and I were both talking about our fascination with sports science, and it would be so interesting if there was a measurement whereby you could tell how much energy he had at the start of this match. Was he at 50%? Was he at 40%? Was he at 65%? But it's been a struggle for Sasha tonight, no question. But then again, the mind plays uh, such Hurt a big role in the ability to just keep on going. The curiously elastic limits of human performance. I mean, we saw that on full display when Zverev was taken on Sino. I was surprised that match was going to be played out with two men standing. Thank you. The usual suspects. Did you go Mukova? Mary. Who'd you go? I did. You did? Oh, man, I did and she's in the semis. Mm -hmm. oh, know it all. 15, love. You're making me <laughs> sound bad now because you <laughs> forgot who I picked. <laughs> and you think Mukova can beat Coco? I think she can make life very difficult for her. That'll be tomorrow night on this court. There it is again. Oh. You've got a bit of pace and depth to the Alcaraz forehand. 15 all. You can get joy out of it. Hit his leg there, as if to say, there's not a whole lot left in them. <laughs> the gap was there. 30, 15. The execution letting Zverev down. of Boris Becker flashed through my mind there in an instant. How often did we see Boris hit that forehand bender on the run down the line? Both hey. coaches are Adios. demanding that this next point's a good one. Zarev still hasn't broken. He's only had two looks. Alcaraz three for three. Zverev 0 for three. The use. That 
tells a story right there. Please. There. Just opening Advanced up too many Paris. angles. Again, when he's got that short yeah. forehand, he's had the option Stop. to come in. So we have on two occasions now, he's coming across court. Got to keep that ball on the same side of the court as himself. For service. Very much pass. Great vision. Good off the ball movement. That's something that he does. Incredibly well. One game ability to recognize the quality of his shot and how much damage it's caused, and then moving straight away, sneak in, put the volley away. You can hear. Zara's dad speaking at times English, German, and Russian. He played tennis for the Soviet Union. Thank you. Please, quickly. Mama player for the former Soviet Union as well, played Fed Cup. Let's now called service. Billie Jean King Cup. and hit a 132. <laughs> I think he's got to go big early. Has collapsed into that serve. Let's. Second service. Some of the best tennis I ever saw Zvera play was when he took gold at the Tokyo Games a couple of summers ago, and that heat was oppressive as well. But man, he played so, so strong. He was doing that kind of stuff. Fearlessly, consistently. Blaze through the draw to take the gold. Yeah, beat Novak along the way. It's the party, party spoiler in that department. Karen Hashanov in the final. That was an easy one too. Yep. Four to love. Tokyo Heat took so much out of Djokovic, who wanted so badly to win a golden Grand Slam, as Steffi Graf had in, had in 88. James he lost there, and then of course he lost in the championship match here to Medvedev. It's better played by two games to one third set. Say out loud what you were whispering to me just now. 
<laughs> What's the question? What's the question you posed to me? Are we, we're looking at this guy who, for yeah. every good reason, yeah. is exhausted. Yeah. So what was your question? If we threw a whole bunch of money at Zverev, if we offered him a billion dollars, oh. could he win this match? Could he, it would, would it help him win this match? Yeah, the point is, how, how would you be able to change Zverev's out to now, a player's mindset oh. to extract more out of them? Throwing $50. cash at him? Well, that was just the first thing that came to mind. If you offered him a billion dollars, <laughs> if he came back and won this, yeah. you know, what sort of effect, that's what I'm getting at, what sort of effect might it have on him? Would it produce more energy for him? Or is he just spent? Is there nothing left to give? And what's your personal answer? You think you think all it would take is capitalism? <laughs> well, again, I'm reading a great book, and 15, they, they do tests 15. on the students, and you know they were squatting against a wall when they offered them whatever it was. I think it was a euro for every minute they could stay on the wall. Yeah. They, they did about two and a half minutes. The moment they offered them more money, yeah. for exactly the same thing, yeah. it went up 19%, the ability to, <laughs> okay. to, in, yeah, endure to endure the pain. So, What's the name of this book you're reading? Yeah, exactly that. Endure. <laughs> so I guess the point I'm really making is how can you create a mind shift, a thought, it can empower you. 15, That's where I'm 14. going with this. And this book says that that could happen to Zverev on a night like this? Is that really what it's suggesting? It could happen? It could. Absolutely it could. continues to produce drop shots like this. That is genius feel. Again, you can't see it coming. It's too late by the time Zverev reacts. Zverev was pushing backwards yep. that he had to correct. chances for two all. Dead. He's ruined those missed opportunities that he's had on break points. He's had five in the matches. Zverev hasn't converted on any of them. See, that's the problem. You've got to, 
win too many shots against Alcaraz to win the point. Two games all, third set. Put and hold. Just to keep Zverev feeling down about himself. Mind him about the fatigue that he's feeling. This book you're reading, Endure, doesn't it count how, for how long you must endure? I mean, if somebody's got to, you know, push through yeah. for half an hour, it's different from trying to win three sets. Right? Yeah. But people have done crazy stuff for days on end. <laughs> the point being is it depends how extreme, extreme if it's for your life. How long could you or, survive? Or your for? child's life. Yeah, exactly. You can lift a car. Yes. But that's adrenaline. How long can you can you last on adrenaline? I know you have an answer. I have to leave that to the sports scientists. <laughs> okay. They explain Sorry, a lot better than what I could, but if you like it, I, I recommend it. Yeah, I'll read that book. But here's what I know for sure. Here's my theory. Not quite as grand, I'm sure, as the stuff in your book. Are you ready for it? Give me up. You can't get orange juice out of an apple. Thirty fifteen. Thoughts? I'm just going to read you the subtitle of the book. <laughs> okay. The Curiously Elastic Limits of What You Think Is Possible. I'm telling you, you can't get orange juice out of an <laughs> apple, my friend. I know that. I know that for sure. This young man is quite astonishing. 40-15. Look at this. And he's still annoyed that yeah, he hasn't yeah. put it back in place. Exactly. On serve in the third. Two sets for Alcaraz. Get out of here! What a stab! 15 love. just do not want Carlos Alcaraz to lose any of his energy level, you know? He makes that spectacular play and they're still exhorting him to keep it up, do it again. Vamos. Open if it goes into the crowd. It says he's just asking for something from his box. So Oh. 
Thirteen. Forty thirty. Fifteen love. Got a point zero for just hanging around here. Still competing. Once again, the combination of shots 15 could not be more different. The power, the feel, and then the artistry. See, I want to see this get to four. 
because if I'm Zverev and I see this going on on the other side of the court, it's still giving me some hope. I'm still annoying Alcaraz. Practiced in the art of deception is Carlos Alcaraz with that forehand drop shot. Just in the art of deception that time round. Very He telegraphed that. He's very well on his way. Sword coming. Got the ball right at the pinnacle of the bounce. And that allows you then to be aggressive with your strike. Ball hasn't dipped below the height of the net. Yeah, is all caress. You've already touched on the importance of getting this done in straights. Mm -hmm. He wants to conserve all that energy for the semis and the finals if he does indeed go that far.
he is such a skill Alvaro merchant. Because this was a beautiful pass. But that was Rafter-esque. This circa 1997-98. about to sneeze. I think it's okay. Zerb changing rackets. Hold that for Alcaraz. The last thing he wanted to do was loose serve towards the tail end of this set. Zverev has been pretty strong behind the serve in set number three. And he lost five points. Fifteen all. Coast to coast. Fifteen. Which lit 13. up the crowd more than anything is when he adds extra heat to these forehands. Yeah, it's beautiful brutality. Every photographer in phot photographer's row. So I think, don't screw this up. They're all pointing their cameras at Alcaraz. Every one of them. See them on the right? Oh. 
15 love. Love. Showing us a few multi combo specials tonight. Not as many as we've seen on occasions, but enough to remind us of his skill set. And it's a large one. Say 15. about two and a half hours for Carlos Alcaraz to get past players beaten three times he beat him in three straight sets 